You are now tuned in. Let's go to the Queen of the Trap podcast. Class and session, bitches. So welcome everybody to the Queen of the Trap podcast. I'm your host, DJ K Dub, and today I am here with my good friend Crutch Calhoun. What's going on, Crutch? Ooh, that's good. Ooh, that's good. Both of them. It don't matter. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm recording from two different spots today. What's going on with you? How's your day going? Oh, it's good. A little hectic, right? Because you mm-hmm. got some stuff to do after this. Yeah, when the day's not hectic, then it's weird. I so know. Weird. I know. Mm-hmm. I like woke up and was like, when are we doing this? What time? But I'm so excited that we're finally sitting down. Um, I have a lot of questions for you today. I've been, I've been waiting to ask you these questions for a very That's long good. time, too. Because, I, I mean, I personally know you. You've been a friend of mine for like two years now. But... There's a lot I don't know still, so. And there's stuff that they don't know. So let's get to it. So, who is Crutch Calhoun and where do you reside? Um, where I'm from, Rosario, Rosario, USA, Rosario, New Jersey. Um, who am I? I'm an artist. You feel me? I'm a father. Mm-hmm. Um, my homie. That's my homie right there. You know what I'm saying? Um, I mean, that's what you mean. Now, your name is not obviously Crest Calhoun, and you do have an actual unique first name. He told me this a while ago, but I, I did forget. So, what you don't have to say your government, but. Um, so, before you became Crest Calhoun, you know, you were just a regular. I mean, you still are. You still are. I mean, this is the most realest person I actually know. Like, I mean, I've called him, like, yo, let's hang out. And he's like, all right, pull up. Like, that's just the type of dude that he is. So, what was life like growing up in Rosedale? Um, I mean, like, any other, like, minority area in the fucking U.S. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Um, a lot of lessons. You know what I'm saying? A lot of losses, a lot of wins. Any, like, any regular, you know what I mean? Basically, any minority area in the U.S., that's what we did. Like, you feel me? That's why we relate to so many different people, so many different people worldwide. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. it's like we're all from the same place, just different names. Absolutely. We're doing the same thing, same shit, so. Now, did you go to high school? Did you live with your parents, your yeah. siblings? I, I, went to, I went to high school in Roselle. Um, so that's you know, a Roselle. Oh, we're gonna get Chameleon in here. Get in here. Oh you can you can interrupt our interview. Oh, 
sorry. This is, no, this is raw footage. I'm going to post uh, it just true. like it's posted because this is real stuff right here. Uh, and uh, I've been meaning to interview you too. Said, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time I'm here. Yeah, I know. That's your fault. I know. I know. It's right. your fault. I love it. I love it. Yeah, I just gotta um, finish setting up the table back. This is studio upstairs, so it's a, really? it's a studio right here, Genius Studio. I have to come do some podcasts here. You're you a genius? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's studio is literally right behind the wall. I was just talking to him the other day because he lost money out of his back pocket. I'm like, how do you lose a thousand dollars walking? We'll cut that out. That's on me too, yeah. though. Yeah. Like, yeah. You're, you, we're gonna get into that too. Like the people you work with, the people that you know. But like, this is this is real shit right here. Like, I know all of them, and I've known all of them for a minute. Um, but when did you first start making music, and what made you get into music? Um, probably like nine. I wrote my first rap. That shit was whack. <laughs> she was ass. <laughs> And then like 12 and I was like, you know what I mean? Like, and I got a little bit better, you know what I'm saying? It was just like a hobby, basketball and music is really what it was. Yeah. Um, first time I was just- pro with the basketball. Girl, that shit wasn't, it was just- You're tall enough for it. You know what's crazy about it? Like what I thought about basketball, once I started seeing exactly what it was and all that, you know what I'm saying? It was like all the politics, but I got right into the, some shit that's even worse with yeah. politics with the music shit. Ain't no topic, I'm not gonna hold you. I, I call it speed to speed. I was nice, but I wasn't pro nice. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm pretty sure I would've kept working and all that shit, but, man, our music was it, you feel me? It was like basketball week now, you know what I'm saying? I'm seeing all this shit every day, like, you know what I mean? I'd rather talk about it, I can't really, the ball don't really bring out what I need. Yeah. You know what I mean, like the, the, the therapy. How you need to express yourself, yeah. Right. So, that's what it was. Like, we've been, we've been making music, but started, first time I went to the studio was my life. On a sophomore year, a real studio. You know what I'm saying? On sophomore junior year, and that was it. Once I seen that, I was like, man, fuck this shit. Yeah. Okay. I couldn't wait for the basketball season to be over my senior year. Go on, fuck that shit. I don't know. I, I I was the same way growing up. Like I um I mean I said I have ADHD, so I played every sport. I couldn't stick with just one. I had to play them all, mm-hmm. but I never stuck with them. So yeah, I'm in the same boat as you. <laughs> Um, so you have tons and tons and tons of music out. Name some of the projects that you've worked on in the past, um, mixtape wise, um, album wise. I just started actually. I started listening to what was it the other day? Your old C Day album. Oh, I got more. I got more projects than some. Like real, like established yeah. artists, like you know what I'm saying. Like, and you, I remember. It's Fifteen years, like, like I said, like you know what I'm saying. Like, been doing this for a minute. It's just the love. It's just the love of it, though. You have, you know and you could see how far you came too, because I remember. I think it was like after the first couple months that we met. Um, I reached out to you and I was like, I just saw a YouTube video of you from like nine years ago, and you were like on the block with all of New Jersey. And, and I mean, you were a little son. Yeah, that was, you know was crazy. But, I know, she's talking about, um, you know what video I'm talking about. Yeah, she's talking about, uh, can't you probably back down now? Uh, the green and Marjay shit. I think Marjay, so. Marjay, yeah, it was Marjay. Everybody's on the corner with yep. the blue one. All the blue one, yeah. Yep. That was the essence. That was the middle of the shit. And, but you could just see how much you evolved from them. And I, I'm one who actually, like, not only are you my friend, but I really enjoy your music. Like, I love your music because mm-hmm. even though I can't 100% relate to, like, what you went through right. and the things you went through, there's always a message I can take yeah, from you. Every, that's what I'm saying. It's for everybody. Yeah. I'm it's not, it's not, I don't want to be limited, like, just to, like, the hood. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, like, it's people outside every day. It's not the that I go through shit. Yeah. So that's what I mean. That's what I like. I like that more, like in the hood love. It's like I done got the hood love. The hood is cool. I'm staying with that. Yeah. But like when, when, once I started singing that, it was people from different walks of life that understood this shit. I was like, oh my, this shit could be bigger than anything we ever thought. Yeah. You feel me? We was doing this from Roselle at for first. But it's a Roselle everywhere, like I said. Yeah. And now you're putting on for Jersey. 
literally, I, I was just in the other room and um, I like introduced myself and I was like, oh, yeah, we interviewed, uh, interviewed a crush and they're like, Rosa, you like, and like, they know who you are because you represent Jersey. And that is amazing. So see how far you come. I know. We got more to talk about though. I'm excited. I'm excited. Well, actually, I'll never forget the first time I saw him because I didn't know him through a hole in the wall. Um, I actually, this would be my second day of East concert. It was Survival Tour. And um, I actually saw you twice that year because I saw you the day after too in Connecticut. Yep. So New York was the first time I saw you. You were in that plaid blue shirt. And I, so long story short, I lost my cell phone in an Uber. And I was like crying, like, oh my God, I'm not going to get into this concert. I somehow weaseled my way right up front next to the speaker. And I'm just like literally watching you. And I didn't know who you were. And I'm like, he's amazing. Like, I need to know who this is. So like, that was my first, like, instinct and then I went to um, Connecticut and you were standing like literally right next to me. I was gonna tap you on the shoulder really? but it felt weird. We were really downstairs? Yeah, we were downstairs uh, um, next crazy. to the Toad's place. That place is packed. Yeah, so we at that night, like it was crazy. Who but showed up that night? Um, Castanova. Oh, Casanova. Free Casanova. Vado was there. Um, I left early that night. I didn't even, I wasn't even there for uh, the whole performance. Yeah, I had to stay. I was supposed to have a club, uh, a club hosting that night in in Connecticut that fell through. But I had. Left I think that I night. heard about that too. Hey, weird ass niggas, you know how she goes. Didn't you put that? Wait, thing. didn't you put that in a song too? What? Something about Connecticut. I think you did. I forgot. I love Connecticut though. Connecticut was lit. Connecticut is always lit. I'm gonna have to look it up, but she put that in a song somewhere. I, did. I, I know you did. did. I probably did. But Connecticut, I always like it. That was my third time at Souls Place. You know what I'm Really? Know? Absolutely. I I've been here twice before with Smoke Desert. You know, if you know Smoke Desert from New York. He was he's on local Smoke Desert from New York. Okay. Big big rap name. He, he I probably know who he is. I'm just kidding. Yeah, I've been here. I've been here three times. Oh, every time I came to Souls Place, it was love. Love I got those tickets. Um, shout out to Maserati Ray and yeah, I know Maserati Ray. Shout out to Maserati Ray. And sure. what's uh, oh, he's gonna kill me if I don't say his name right. Um, <laughs> oh, I forgot. But they yeah. were like, yo, like they're coming out here again. Like it's, I mean, you're in New York. Yeah, they're coming sure. to Connecticut if you want a ticket. I was like, Is fuck it? yeah, I want a ticket. Sure. So. I tapped him on the shoulder and I was like, oh, no, I didn't tap you on the shoulder, but I messaged yeah. you the next day yeah. saying I was going me, to. You sent me videos that day from Connecticut. I remember you on the mm -hmm. side of the stage and I was like, damn, she was close. I was fuck, I didn't see her. I've never missed one of your shows since the day I came. That's fine. I never so the 20, so 20, what are we doing? The 28th or the 29th? Uh, 29th, you said. Yeah, you're going, you're going, right, I might even know this shit. You're going to, um, you know, it's been two years since I dropped Logo. Mm -hmm. For the 28th. So it's even gonna be a 20 year, 20 year old, um, anniversary. It's really, it's an anniversary concert. You guys are gonna be hearing it first, so. Yeah, so it's lit. So you gotta come back in 20, 20 years, so I'm gonna let you know. I'm gonna definitely try to make it out tomorrow, too. If I can't make it out tomorrow, I will definitely be there on the 20th. Yeah, tomorrow is lit. We're gonna talk about that, too. Um, oh, you know, I don't even wanna talk about that. Oh, well, <laughs> hey, well no, we're gonna talk about it. So you wanna talk about that? Because it was supposed to be the week before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you wanna talk about. I wanna talk about, you know what? You wanna talk about if that. If we're keeping it real like this, hold up. I'm gonna grab my beer. Well, she says you wanna talk, I don't even wanna talk about that, man. Niggas know I'm the stable in bro. Let's talk about it now, and then we're gonna talk about it. Alright, so, so we'll go back to my questions after. But yeah, let's talk about it. What the happened? The party this week, that's coming up this week, supposed to be last week. What happened is, you know what I'm saying? The, the place it was supposed to be, I always have, it's the middle of Roselle, mind you. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Hey, first of all, you've been to all my concerts, like you mm -hmm. said, you've never seen your problems. Nope. Not a fight, nope. not an argument. It's nothing. always problems with like the, the people that work there. Always the problems with the people that work there. Remember when Davies was trying to come Absolutely. in? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I guess that comes with the, the life we portray. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. Even with that, so I'm gonna stay with Roselle. Like this, this club is in Roselle. Like I did, I did that club before. 
know what I'm saying? They gave me problems before. From a regular night, I went there. Like when I was just regular little yeah. kid night, I'm cool, man. I ain't got shit else to do with this movie. I went there for the Javante fight, the Javante the Tank fight, how do you say his name? And they was rude to me, you know what I'm saying? So I cussed them out. And the same lady I cussed out is the reason why that, I'm, I know that's the reason why that party had to last year. This is what I'll be saying. This is why I don't be like, I don't live with emotions or anything. I'm like, yeah. you want to deal with money and business. Mm -hmm. you know, we can talk about all this shit afterwards. But either way, they shut the club, they, they shut the shit down. So I'm not in support of Mr. East anymore. No you know what I'm saying? Mr. East never really supported me anyway. And in the middle of the hood, and they don't like black people. I'm pulling the Kanye. George Bush don't like black people. Mr. Go. East don't like black people. Simple as that. But that's all I got to say about that. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But you can all pull up tomorrow to the show, so definitely. So let meet me at the lobby. Yeah, wait, wait, do it again. <laughs> because I literally, now he you, he hates when I screen record him, but this is why I do it. Yeah. Because it's so it fun. It came down as a screenshot. I'm a screenshot of mm, me. Because number one, I like to like promo your stuff for you, and I will use that footage later on to promo But also, like, I met her once. I met her once. So you had her for a bit? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what she wants. If she right. called me when she wanted to pick up, she told me when she wanted to pick up. Let's have a got work, work. You know what I'm saying? And even if I got work, work, I just went to Boston. I'm done with my mother. My mother loves her. It's like, right. Yeah. I mean, like, it's easy. She is the cutest thing about. Well, I mean, since we're on that topic, I'll ask that question. Um, you being an artist and mm -hmm. traveling so much, you know, how, how is it hard to see your daughter? You know, is it how is being a parent and being an artist? Um, it's, in your own words, it's really no difference from anybody else that works. Yeah. People do nine to five every day. They got kids. They got job. I'm a babysitter. Whatever. Like, you know what I'm saying? Same shit with me. I just want to have. I don't got to be out. I don't. Trust my mother. Yeah. I'm, I'm the same way with my sister. Like, I don't take if my mother can't do them, I'm not going. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like if she can't go all that's it. Or she coming with me. And I'll be big on that. Like if I can't bring her, I'll tell you like, look, I got my daughter with me today, like if I can't we got her schedule. Most she of the time. Pulls up, she pulls up to um what was it? Pre uh pre trial no. Unplugged. Yeah, she unplugged. Unplugged. She comes to Oman, unplugged. She came to the York show. That was the first time I saw. Her. Oh yeah, she was. That was the first time. So the show. First time I saw her on stage, but I didn't like see her around right. a person. Yeah. And unplugged. then I introduced my myself sister. to her. It's my baby. She is so cute. I talked to her, and she actually will talk to you on Instagram. Like she'll take his phone. Oh, I'm God, like, right. I'm like, how's your day going? I was like, what are you and Daddy doing today? She's Going to get ice cream. Right. What's your favorite ice cream? It's so cute. Hey, I like it you are, and you are such a great father to Thank her. To you. her. Because he spoils. I've seen him take her out shopping, getting her nails done. Like, he is such a Whatever she I mean, like, that's why I was raised up. My father was in my life. Like, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. why would I be anything less? That's how I feel like. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I got a little girl. I don't got a son. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And like, that's I something have you have to. Have to I have to yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I never knew love. I never, that's what I always say. I always say, I love, I'm in love. I, I love you before. So the day I see my daughter, I ain't never knew it. I was just talking about this. Don't go near his daughter, boys. Oh, yeah, he's yeah, gonna be know. out with the shotguns. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so, he's gonna be out with the shotguns. Really? <laughs> Daddy Crouch ain't playing no games. Nah, that's easy for And I be feeling like, I don't be understanding, like, people that they don't feel that way about your kid, like, how, like that tells me a lot about a person. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't feel that way about it. You don't say kid, your kid, and it's like, you don't give a fuck about yourself. So I'm telling you, you fuck about me. Yeah. There's people that I do, they see me, I love you because they don't love me, they don't even love your kid. You don't even watch your child, you don't spend time with you them. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. You don't love me, dog. But you know, that's my baby. I got her, she got me, we all we got. That's it. And they're twins. They literally <laughs> look like twins. Go, go look up anything with him that's and my his baby. daughter. They, she that's got the mean is. mug and everything. I'm not kidding. She really does. Thanks. Um, so, what else? Um, so, how did your music career first take off? Like, how did you first really get into this industry? Um, really, uh, I dropped this song called Whippin'. Whippin'. Yeah. The song called Whippin'. That was 
was the that shit was crazy. I, like, when I dropped with it, that's when I met East. Okay. You feel me? That's when the that's I mean, and then you know what I mean? Like that's when I really met him. I met him at the function, and that's when we exchanged shit. You know what I mean? Oh, niggas was telling you, yeah, I gotta get together, cause they both, we both, you know, yeah, on the same the things, seven. same yeah. shit. You feel me? My word, like, and then cause had posted a, a video in the car, and I can whip him. Yeah. Like, I'm like, why? Cause really fucking with me. Like, yeah. You feel me? And then we did SOBs. You feel me? That's when it, it was. Everybody playing SOBs if you're somebody. So. We did SOB though. It's a fact. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it was. It was. Um, we had some. We had some under under cars. And it was me and him, and we sold SOBs out. That's the first time we really robbed. And we were like, yeah, what's up? I mean, fuck you, cuz. Like, simple as that. After that, we blocked it. Now, how long ago was that? I don't even know, yo. That was probably like 2016. Okay. No cap, 2016. Jeez. You feel me? That's how I was thinking, like. I was working in the hospital, but. I was working. I was working at a. Oh, yeah, that was, was my firm. Like, that was my uh, Another question I had. What other so jobs? That's what I was talking about. Come on. What other jobs? I know. I'm trying to read off my paper, but I really want this to be natural. That's like, natural. Not do your shit, though. Um, what are you talking about? It? But what other jobs did you have before this? Um, I mean, you know me, like, I ain't gonna hold you, like, I'm hustling. You feel me? My father always told me, like, I'm a hustle, but that's one thing. I see my father do something, and be like, you either learn from it or you do the same thing. So I always try to deter, I learn from it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, I like I was I was in the streets, you feel me? But as far as, like, the old drugs, my father, that's yeah. what he did, drugs. You feel me? I was not trying to, you know, I did with that, you know what I'm saying? I had a statute of limitations, you know? <laughs> I did, I did with that, you know what I'm saying? But... But to make shit happen for the family, like I knew, like I couldn't leave them. Yeah. So I'm not about to sell. I'm not about to do nothing that's gonna compromise me being away from my family. So of course I had plenty of jobs. Rob Rapper. Really? I had, a, I had a job when I dropped local. I was a, I was working at the college as a janitor that's overnight. Oh my God. Eight to six in the morning. That's a fact. And nobody would never know. You are a hard worker. That's crazy. You are a very hard worker. You remember that? Bro, I was working at Utah, I was working at UCC Bank when I dropped local. What the fuck was we doing? Right. The time I was getting out, 7 a.m. Going straight to Cinematics to the studio, right? No, no, and I, I didn't okay. sleep since fucking 5 o'clock, 4 o'clock the, the day before. Have on the way, it's a fact. I don't know how you do it. I mean, you want it. It's passion, I think you want it. Oh, yeah, good time. So tell me about your label. Oh, Roselle USA, the label. Um, Roselle USA, the label. We under reconstruction right now. I ain't going to be revamping and all that. Um, I'm looking for artists. I got I got like two artists right now fucking with, especially from the city. And this is your label? Uh, absolutely. You own this? Yes, absolutely. Very good. Who is on your label? Um, I mean, nobody signed there. I'm the only person signed, I'm signed, I'm signed myself. I'm the only person signed right now to my label. But like I said, I'm fucking with, I got a couple of artists I fuck with from my city. You know what I'm saying? I want to um, actually ask you about that too. Um, who are some artists out of your city that are like noticeable that um, you fuck with? Um, honestly, you know what it be though? It be who fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? Cause like I be fuck with niggas. You know what I mean, and they don't fuck with me. That's my that's that, that be my biggest thing. That's my mom. You know what I'm saying I love I'm niggas. Saying. I shouldn't. Shout out to your button. That's your button, mom. <laughs> that's my mom. I mean, I love niggas. I shouldn't. You feel me? But. I fuck with him, fuck with me, how do you three? You know what I'm saying? How do you shout my, shout my brother? I do know that. I do know. How do you about to drop a mixtape for M the MVP? I'm on that. You know what I'm saying? Shout Baby out to him. Absolutely. Shout out. Hey, 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 swag, it's popping, nigga. My bad. My bad. Let me get a little bit of a drink. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Stop playing with me. Where's the. Hey, yo, P's and threes, nigga. Stop playing with me. I'm like, I'm playing with me. I'm like, I'm playing with me. 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 I'm playing with Ooh, I like that. I like that. I don't care more. Maybe I'll put the dogs on the two. Threes, right? I like that. What's good, fool? What's up, bro? I'm here, bitch. I see you. What's going on? What's going on? Yeah, he came to me for me. Hey, they great. Bro. It's an official black bottom boy right here. Bro. That's why they contacted me. Bro. They saw I was coming. I see, I see, I see Camilla posted. I was a husband. I seen, I seen, she, I seen she was interviewing you. Why, why, why not? You shit me? Why not? That's my dog right here. Yeah, you feel me? Yes, and I can't say but, but, but I also heard he was in a restaurant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep it close. I like how you move. I'm loving this right here. I like how you move. We working. Yes, we're going to let you get your art comes getting in. I don't know. I'm going to get your art comes getting in. No, you're talking about it. No, I'm going to get your art comes getting in. 
No, no, it's my fault. Or it was in the garage. Yeah, huh? Ratchet. Listen, you can't take us nowhere. Can't take us nowhere. We can't take us nowhere. Can't take us nowhere. Yeah, they say you're the session. You're good, you're good I'm on. I don't want this shit locked. That's what I'm saying. I didn't see any money. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're good. I, I saw, hey, I saw the beard. I'm like, man, that's right. So, Fuck literally, yeah. like two minutes before I'm leaving the house to come right. do this, he messaged me and was okay. like, he, like, I'm pulling up to commit. I'm yeah, like, how do you know each other? Okay, that's just that's let him hard. know you're coming down that's before that's anything. Right. And then she contacted me, and they were like, we're pulling up. I'm like, all right. Dude, that's how we say how you from the jury, you blood. Oh, really? That's see? what I see how, you see how people be operating. It's real shit. I'm doing real shit. I tell you, I woke up, I, I woke up this morning. And Porta Bob texted me. Mm -hmm. I got loco, yeah. like, let's go get money. Like, no. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> Jersey guys, <laughs> I'll see you later. But I actually That's might be fine. pulling up there after. So, for sure, for sure. Cause they got studio time later. For real, I got so, it. my next question. Uh -huh. uh, so, how did you and DJ know so me? Oh, me and Noso, um, Noso, um, it's my dog. You feel me? Noso, it's from. He lived in Rosetta. He's not for you from New York, but he lived in Rosella one time because his brother's from Rosella. Okay. You feel me? His brother DJ D. Shout out to DJ D. That's my fucking guy. I don't yeah. know that. His brother, his brother, his older brother DJ D. DJ D used to, DJ D is the, like a staple DJ in Rosella. I'm gonna have to look him up. That's I didn't even know that he had a brother who DJ. Absolutely. He has to be running. You feel me? So D was on, D was playing out, playing out playing records and shit. And so, um, you know, all the local parties and shit. Yeah. Anytime I get these shit, he can write this shit to me. I'm right, never will here. I don't even know. Yeah. I'm just talking about coming up, like, like me and the homies, like, just talking mad bullshit, gang shit on here. Yeah. He's playing with shit, though. Yeah. I'm gonna have to look him up. Every time you play that shit in the club, it's more crazy. Yeah. Well, 
I tell you, I've been putting your name out there for the past two years, and people are now like they're getting on. Nah, it's music. a fact because even with that, I see like a lot of my old shit going on. Mm -hmm. I actually just placed um to like fit it. In. I wanted to put it right before uh, Davies' new track right. with um. Oh, I'm having a break. Um, the that bullshit. yeah, that brand new oh, one. Not that one, the other one. Oh, I'm having, I'm having such a brain fart. Well, um, so I put Free Loco right before that track, and it just fit so perfectly. Like that's that's the thing about DJs. We can use your music at any particular point in time. They, they'll think it's new, but you recorded it like eight years ago. Like, sometimes I, I don't even, like, 
today. I don't even charge you for this interview. I normally I charge people for my time, but this is actually a friend of mine. So of course I wasn't gonna do that because it's something I wanted to do too. Exactly. You know, it's not always about the money. It's about building relationships with people. Um. Now let's see. Um. So how many cities, states, and countries have you like been to, like tour wise? Um, how many would you say? Because I know you were survival. Mm-hmm. You were on tour for a couple cities and states. Survival two got got canceled. Oh yeah, no, got canceled. Because I remember I was actually supposed to go on tour with you guys because Nokia was going to teach me to DJ, and then Corona happened. Yeah, but I know as far as how many. Shit, I don't know. Name some places you've been to. Some dope places that you got to perform at. Um, the dopest, Paris, um, Copenhagen, Denmark, um, Amsterdam. Amsterdam is Amsterdam. fucking nuts. Amsterdam is a whole other story. The whole year was to Germany, um, Sweden. I made a song about Sweden. So I know. Oh, I know. Sweden was different. Um, in Boston. Boston was a Boston. I love their accents. I can't Boston was a, That's what I love Boston. They moved when I did last week and it was just like, oh. I was like, yeah. It's crap. Yeah. Hello. So you play show you how love out there? Absolutely. Oh, that's Absolutely. good. That's very good. I love Boston. Um, so is there any artists that you have not worked with yet that you would love to work with? Yeah. Any of these artists ain't fucking weird. <laughs> like, true, you know, like, true. Cause like I been, I been, like I bought the nigga music and then like two months later nigga turned to be a fucking weirdo. <coughs> so it's like I don't really want to work with nobody. I want to work with want to work with me. That's real. You know what I'm saying? Cause I don't got like I said I've been you know even with cuz like these like you know, I've been in plenty of rooms with plenty of artists and niggas is fucking. Yeah. It, like you want to work with an artist and then you see how they really are and you like. Good. Nah, like, I, don't I don't care who you take me. I don't care where, where. I'm not like, I'm like, I got morals. You feel me? Absolutely. You're not the same type of person. So I don't really, I don't really aspire to work with nobody at all. They, they, unless they want to work with me. Of course, the greats. You know, that's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. Jay Z. Thank you. Jay Z. He was in the freaking club with me. Jay Z. That's it. Oh, I, I still have I still have that screen recording. I was with Jermaine. He's a cool dude. I'm like, fuck you. You met Jeezy before I did. But I, no, I said Jay Z. No, Jeezy. Oh yeah, Jeezy. Jeezy, Jeezy, were... Jeezy was cool. Jeezy, Jeezy was cool. I ain't really. I mean, we. I mean, I ain't really get a chance to bust up with him crazy. Yeah. We was in the club and all that shit, but Jeezy was cool. Like, that shit was Jeezy is definitely somebody. Yeah, like, I don't really got. I don't really aspire to work with. Like really, I just be doing my thing. I don't really have time to be focused on other people. Yeah. I don't be doing my own shit. I ain't going to really do that. Even with, like, with the E shit, like, I don't be focused on what colors are on. Like, we just, if he tells you to pull out, you pull out. I, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just do what we do, bro. Like, you feel me? I've been in the studio with this nigga 100 nights. Mm-hmm. And prior to 100 nights, uh, two nights we did a song. But I'm cool with that. You feel me? I'm not here for that. I'm here just to vibe. I'm a vibe nigga. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, that's why he told me to pull up and I drove right out and we vibing right now. Yeah. Doing this interview. It's raw. It's uncut right raw now. Raw and uncut. Raw and uncut. Shimmy. Shimmy. Yes, sir. So when did you realize that you first like really made it? I don't even, like, that's the thing. I don't think I made it. I, I never realized I made it. I don't think I made it. I think anybody, after, the people that the people that look at that, like, do I made it? That's when they fall off. Yeah. And make shit. I still feel like that right I now. Ain't made, I ain't making it to my daughter's kids. Kids is like, yeah. Super grand. Super yeah, granddaddy super at that point. Like, oh, boy. Super granddaddy. Uh-huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so that's right. I ain't made shit, man. I made a couple records. You feel me? But I ain't making it. I ain't. I don't know. shit don't stop. Mine um, does not ever stop. We're always working. Right. Um. So what would you say is the hardest thing about working in this industry? Staying away from a goofy ass nigga. Facts, amen. Amen to that. That's the, that's the, that's the hardest thing. Because if you, you want to, like, don't edit this out. 
if you want to kill a nigga. Like, niggas say, yo, yo, it's so, it's so much easier to kill a nigga than it's not to. It's so much easier to whack a nigga. That's the hardest thing in this game, because niggas be goofy, and you got to learn to separate yourself from people that want to do shit for clout, do shit just for a game. Because some niggas really do some shit, get on the internet, yeah. and go crazy on you. And then when you speak to them, you're like, nah, bro, you know it ain't really like that. It's just, it's like, yeah. nah, I don't play like that, bro. Like, be your own person. You got to talk, you, what you talk, you stand on, like, you feel me? I mean, I don't do no shit for the internet, for nothing. I don't care how much money. I'm not selling my soul, my morals stuff. You feel know I me? Mean? That's the biggest thing in this industry. Social media is not real life, guys. Stay away from the fuck shit. And when niggas try to pull you in, because niggas will try to pull you in. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Niggas will, make, niggas will do shit just to make them respond to them. You feel I me? Mean? You got to know responding to them is giving them a platform. You know what I'm saying? Nobody, he didn't help you get to where you at, but he want to put, he want a piece of that shit. Yeah. You feel know I me? Mean? Absolutely. That's the you biggest can. thing in this industry. Yeah. Same way from the fraud and the bullshit. Absolutely. I agree with that one. Um, now, you just dropped some new stuff. Mm -hmm. And you're about to drop some new stuff. Mm -hmm. um, he just dropped the Cypher. Mm -hmm. I love that Cypher, by the way. Shout out my boy K-Boy. Yeah. Full 30. Um, his episode, I think, was number seven. My God. Number seven. I went all the way to, well, not all the way, because very close to me. I met him at Chopped Cheese in okay. the middle of Harlem That's and right. we literally, they, we asked if we could do an interview in the middle oh. of Chopped Cheese and we did. Hey, k -boy, my dog, right? Yes. Oh, k -boy. Man. He's fire. He always, he always like. And he's a good person. Good he's a individual. really good person. Real good individual. I'm from Cali, out here. We in Cali, everything lit. You saw me like, he's See, like guy. now you guys understand why I'm friends with these people and why yeah. I hang out with them because they are real people. Like, I talk to you like that, I talk to we him like that. Yeah, it was like, yo, tell my own girl, sit with us. See, like, Sorry. literally, I talk to all of them. And, you know, it's not just about business, it's about building your relationships right. with people. Yeah, um, you but, my dog. Yeah, you so, my dog too. Okay. Um, you did see day two. Right. You did see day two that had all the um, remixes and stuff yeah, like that. That was fun. fire. Yeah, day, thank you. That was so good. And I actually did watch your C day live. Yeah. I still have the screen yeah, recordings. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um, you put out random. There's yes. three. Uh, no, actually, there's more tracks on there. Yeah, yeah. Put I out random one. Now put out random, random, random one. But random, 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 random two, three. Yeah, so random three. And then, um, Promise Mama's on there. Yeah, yeah. that was a little rank three pack. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then the win. That's what it was. So the win. The win. Now win. that track, I messaged him too. I was like, oh, your voice on that track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I loved it. Yeah. I loved it. And I, and now what I'm about to talk about is pre trial two is coming out. Yes. Well, no, 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 like, I, right, you know what I'm saying? We drunk, though. Yeah. We had plenty of conversations with we were drunk. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, nah, this shit was really good. Right? I got another verse that he was, he was, he had a, um, I don't even know if I should say this, but I got another verse he, um, he was, he was doing a mixtape with Mary J. And I was, that, I got another He's song. doing a mixtape with him? It's like he, oh. got a, he got a, he got a, he got a, a joint album and he was doing Mary J. on You feel me? So, like, I knew about all this shit. Before I say shit, it's not the yeah. thing you, say, you know what I'm saying? So, but it's also on your part. You drop when it's your timing. Yeah, you know, so, you can't drop with everybody too. around. You are going to stay in the local, so you feel me? I'm going to drop pre trial also too. too. Also, I was just going. I was going to drop that because a lot of people don't know. Like even with local too, like I ain't even telling them. Like, We've been this. waiting on this album. I lost my whole hard drive. My whole hard drive crashed. <laughs> Oh, oh, I, I know that feeling. I went through six of them. I didn't give DJing. it up. It was over. No, you can't give up. You so know. I said. So that's why I was saying. Like that's when I was like, "Fuck, I'm gonna drop pre trial too." And it's like, nah, for what? I was just rebuild because I was about to drop. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to enjoy this shit going crazy. Yeah. And my 
microphone and stuff. You don't have any backups to it? Like, I mean, I got a song, but you know, mix. Oh, yeah. You know how it go. So, but like I said, like, that's why I, I took a little, I had to take it like a little. Step fucking, back. Three mm -hmm. weeks break from this shit. I'm like, what the fuck am I really about to do? Yeah. Like, I got a whole tape that it's supposed to drop. It's going to be two years. Like I said, it's going to be two years in this one year. Wow. It's a yeah. Fact. I dropped local August 20th, 2019. Monarch dropped on the, on the 16th, 17th. Monarch dropped. What was that? Yeah, July dropped or something? I don't know. Yeah. It was August. It was like two or three weeks before. So is that why you're having the thing on Friday? Okay. So you got me a little anniversary. No, no, no. No, no, no. no, no. That's the 28th. The 28th. Release party. That didn't just got to be a little but I ain't really trying to, I ain't always, I ain't gonna drop it, it's probably like September. Alright. October, maybe. It'd so, aside from the, you know, the parties and like the pre trial and whatnot, like the viewings and everything, what's next for you? Local 2. Local 2. Music wise, local 2. Clothing, um. All that DC. Any, any jumping on anybody else's albums? See, see, because people don't really sound. I don't want to push it out because it comes out like yeah. a lot of people change shit at the last minute. I don't change albums. That's true. You know what I'm saying clearance and all that shit. I mean, no, no. Yeah, I still need clearance for your music. That should be weird. So, they so won't let me play him on my podcast because he signed and same with you. That's the thing. I'm not signed to Cinematic no more. This is the song you're playing. What song are you playing? If you're playing anything from local, probably. Yeah. If you play anything from local, then yeah. I mean, but even with like, even with that, I get you clear. But okay. I'm not signing to the Mac. All right. Yeah, no, because I was. They were flagging me every time I was trying to play man. stuff. The independent vibe. Independent. Man, that's, the artist, that's the way to go. Honestly. Man, get your shit right and get independent, man. Cause or mm, contact him and get on his Rose in the USA. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Ooh, think about it. Think about it. So let her, I'm so happy that we did this today. I really I am. I'm happy we got to, cause I haven't seen him in a while. I'm so excited. I'm so happy. Now, um, tell everybody where they can find you. Um, music wise, Instagram. Everywhere that music is at. Anywhere. Everywhere. everywhere. Go Just find Google that shit. Press that one. No, I do have one more question before we end this. And I answer all got like three pages of this. I got one more question to ask me. Yeah. Eight questions. She got like three pages. I think you answered them. <laughs> we good. You gonna yeah. give me that um that uh tap in song before I leave? Cause I'm dying to hear. You were crazy, Kendrick, about that shit earlier. What you oh, doing that shit, Kyle? Right. We need that. <laughs> if you haven't yeah, heard it on yeah. this live yet, <laughs> he remakes the Gucci Man song. Yeah, man. Love you, Tassin. Love you, Well, thank you, Crutch Calhoun. I'm so happy we did this. Ooh. Ooh. And tune in to what he's got going on next. Yeah, it's up. Tune in. Tune in to the podcast. Queen of the Trap Podcast. Tune in to the Trap Podcast. You feel me? Make sure you tune in to that too, because you know, without the podcast, without the people that's representing me, I can't. Mean, who the fuck am I? I mean, love you know what I'm saying? I love you. I love you. She know that? So much love. You have no idea.